Breaking tonight, we are now learning Immigrations and Customs Enforcement has released more than 500 illegal immigrants into the streets of Texas and New Mexico after freeing 500 more migrants days earlier. That's more than a thousand over the course of just four days, just releasing them into the country. The release is all coming because ICE has apparently reached detention limits on how long it can hold on to these migrants. So they just release them? Joining me right now, national security expert from the Heritage Foundation, James Carafano. James, good to see you. Uh, good to be with you. I don't get it. So you can't hold them anymore because we have a certain limit on the number of days they can be in a detention center. So you say, okay, here you go. Welcome to Texas. Right. So this is a combination of, uh, of court rulings and, and political pressure the administration has got about splitting families. So there's a limitation on how long you can hold a family, and then essentially the government has to release them now. So here's, here's the trick is. Mexico has agreed that people who came in the caravan, if they want to make a refugee claim, they're going to stay in, re stay in Mexico, have their claim processed, and then if they have a legitimate claim, which most of them don't, then, they'll, then they get to come in. So what people are going to do is, what these guys are doing is, you put together a claim of a family and you illegally enter the United States, then you get detained, then you have to get let go, right? So, so, so we're making a deal with Mexico to prevent this thing, and, and our courts, and the pressure that we're getting from the left is forcing the United States to create incentives for people to illegally cross the border, create incentives for uh -huh. human traffickers to put people together as families and, and break the system. There we go. The law of unintended consequences. Hey, let me ask you this, though. Why is it that the Democrats are so desperate to get so many illegals here? And by the way, I'm not anti-immigration. I actually am all for immigration, for the right kind of people to come here. We need them. Heck, we sure do. I mean, the Social Security bills alone, right? But we need people that can contribute, not people that are going to stay on welfare and drain the system. We want people that want to be upstanding American citizens. Uh, you know, so I'm not, I'm not against that, but why is it that the Democrats want to unleash, you know, thousands of people illegally into the country? Why do they want to abolish things like ICE? I think they're committed to the course that President Obama set them in under his tenure, which is to make the problem of securing the border and immigration so insolvable that the only thing you could do was go back to his massive, comprehensive immigration deal where everybody in the country gets amnesty regardless of how long they've been here, regardless of them they were criminal or not, just mass amnesty and kind of wipe the slate clean, which of course doesn't solve the problem because Reagan tried this, that it just incentivized more illegal of border course. crossing. And right. they really don't have an answer for that either. Right, right. Because at some point, have. you know, if you're going to wipe the slate clean, you, you got to at least create an environment where there's some penalty, right, for coming here illegally. Um, but there's no willingness to do that. Is it all politically motivated in that they want votes? I spoke to a gentleman recently uh, who was out in San Francisco on the San Francisco school board where, what do you know, they allow illegals to vote out there on the West Coast uh, in these school board elections because, uh, well, they feel it's the right thing to do. Is that ultimately where this is going? They want to get as many votes as they can, legally or not? Well, it's clearly there are two issues going on here, the, the debate over border security and then this political debate. And, and here's the clue that this is absolutely a political debate. Look at the numbers on approval on do you want a wall and look at the numbers on the approval of the president and they're virtually identical. And which basically says when you ask somebody do you want a wall, all you're really doing is a referendum on do you like Trump or not. not do, do you actually like border security? Do you want the laws enforced? Yeah. Do you want the United States to fight human trafficking? Do you want the administration to, to limit the capacity and, and the propensity of people to rise at risk? I don't know if that's entirely true, because I think there are a lot of people out there that don't necessarily like his style, but they like his policy, right? And so part of that policy is stronger security, and it might be a wall. And I think when you really drill down, I think, James, Americans want that. We want borders. How, it's yeah, a natural thing to want. Right, but that's not the question they're asking. They're not asking people, do you want the border secure? They're asking people, do you want the wall? And they just identify the concept of the wall with mm -hmm. President Trump. Mm -hmm. So they're not, really, they're, not really giving, they're not really giving Democrats a man that say, we don't want border mm -hmm. security. They absolutely do want border security. They're just saying they don't like Trump. <laughs> well, I guess they've made that clear over and over again. We'll see where this goes. James, it's good to see you. Thank you. More Trishrigan Primetime next.